All right. Another episode of Day and Dash. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, waiting for this to come out, and uh, you know when we show it to you, you'll it it'll be fine. It'll be it'll be go- okay. Uh, this is episode three. Um, we're gonna do something a little different than we normally do at Dane and Dash. Normally, we talk about the history of Dane County. Yeah, you know what what's going on in Dane County. But today, we're actually gonna speculate on the future of Dane County. <laughs> So what does the future hold for Dane County? Will the Dane County we love and know today fall prey to the terrifying creatures molded from the fallout of economic collapse and various bioengineering mishaps? While these questions remain unanswered, for today's episode we're going to take you on a -a one-of-a-kind look at our nightmarish hypothetical depiction of Dane County in the year 2515. Yes! Dinner! Dane County used to be a thriving community, a place to raise a family or create a super popular travel show about. But there was always something bubbling beneath the surface. Four missing children near the foothills of Wanakee. Local authorities insist that mole people are not responsible. It's been confirmed all the children missing have been snatched by mole people. Where they've gone, still to be determined. Systemic mole people cover-up goes all the way to the top. No one is safe. Literally, it was the boiling hot cauldrons used by the mole people living in underground societies near Wanakee to cook children. Dane County has officially surrendered its northwest corner to the mole people of old Wanakee. Any Dane County citizen still in the area must vacate within 48 hours or they will face certain death. But figuratively, it was much more than that. Our wills were weak, even before the Mole Revolution. We had become softened by our extravagant lifestyles. Dane and Dash has been ousted as the most popular travel show in Dane County by a new porn travel show, Dane Porn Tree, which is now number one. Due to the declining viewership, many of us were never able to heed the words of caution prophetically uttered to us by Art and George in Dane and Dash. The decline of Dane and Dash, was it all just a conspiracy brought about by the government to cover up really funny people? As a direct result, Dane County began to spiral out of control. Scientists at the university have begun genetic experimentation on Mendota marsh monster Frank in hopes of combating the mole people. And in other sad news, our weatherman Steve has been blown up. Marsh monsters, equipped with lasers, have now overtaken the Isthmus. After we lost the capital to the laser-wielding marsh people, Dane County became further fragmented and unrest continued to grow. A group of separatists, led by the ethereal leader Joel, have now taken control and fortified the landfill. Without Dane and Dash to quell the storm, the people became unruly and illogical. Massive resources have been spent on a great tower, built for no apparent purpose. The best rat pies in Dane County and how to make them. Out of fear of the mole predators to the north and marsh monsters to the east, the people of Mount Horeb, along with the trolls of the area, began breeding an Urukai-like army of troll people. Rumors grow of its suspicious activity in Mount Horeb. That's later tonight on True for Troll. The forces grew quickly, and soon the brute force was only surpassed by their almost unfathomably grotesque physical appearance. The troll army building in Mount Horeb. Should we fight them or just join them? The debate tonight. We'll take you live to the scene with uh, the correspondent in Mount Horeb who is uh, actually being prepared for sacrifice. After the Mount Horblins two seceded, the proud square-shaped Dane County we once knew had become nothing more than a shriveled up afterthought. This just in, apparently Vermont is now its own place in Dane County. With paranoia rampant and little order to control the general public, all-out chaos ensued. Today we look at the decline of Dane and Dash how it's likely responsible for everything wrong in Dane County currently. Do we now live in this 
cesspool of conflict because we didn't listen to Dane and Dash 500 years ago? We now eat people in 95% of the area. In 500 years, Dane County had transformed from a welcoming social center to a ravaged wasteland inhabited only by ruthless clans of humans and terrifying mutant creatures. Shut the f up. Don't eat me! Don't eat me, <laughs> Wow. The future of Dane County uh, might look pretty uh, bleak. But it doesn't have to be that way. It's up to you to change the future of Dane County and your life and uh, the lives of everyone. Mm -hmm. If Dane and Dash become super popular, uh, we can avoid this entire sequence of events. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, no, no! Why'd you shut up?